Well, you need a whole mix of stuff, basically. That's the thing. Yeah, uh, uh, I mean, we we got probably twenty percent, thirty percent actual music, and then we got so much other stuff. You know, that's going on. You know, there's all the green fields, and the green politics, the theatre, the circus, and all the avant-garde, the comedy, and everything. You know, you, but you need a whole mix of stuff. Otherwise, it gets a bit boring. Yeah, uh, and it's just like a rock show. You know, one or two stages, just all rock music, and it gets. Uh, I guess a bit dull, but we've got a lovely site, you know, it's a lovely valley, you know, and it's my own farm, of course, so that we can work on it all year round. And, it, and it's not like going into a council site or an aerodrome or something. And it's got a personal thing. Uh, the trees and the hedges and the fields are all small fields and everything. And it's quite romantic anyway. Without a festival at all, it's quite a romantic place. And of course, you've got Glastonbury tour at the end of the valley and everything. And but there's all the Glastonbury magic as well, which which has quite a history to it. Uh, and I think we've got a whole lot of factors that actually make it work. We've got a talent competition for the festival, you know, and so four thousand people apply, and so we get listened to by listening groups, and then we get we get down to to a final seventy from four thousand. Okay, and I sit on a panel of judges that, and we listen to the 70 play live. So that, so that that's a good way of doing it, but chances are really small um, of actually getting through that process, isn't it? Um, but basically, when a band like Oasis, I mean, I knew from the start that first album. I mean, I was after them straight away because I knew it sounded right to me. Uh, and it's just so obvious, really. When you've got a hit band, it's so obvious. Yeah, we take a year off every fifth year. So we do four years on and one year off, you see. So that's the thumb situation. Uh, and and um, so I've been doing that for about 30 years, actually. And it gives the whole thing a chance to have a rest. And uh, we call it a fallow year, which agricultural terms. They're giving the land a rest, you know.